Welcome to Dayless Class, brought to you by Alondra, Sofia, and Carmen. Welcome to week two of Summer Steam. This week we will be learning about animals and nature. For this lesson, we will be learning about food chains. For today's activity, you will need five sheets of construction paper, one piece of string, one marker, one pair of scissors, one glue stick, and you can also have a magazine, but this is optional since we did not include it for you. For this next step, you might want to gather up your family. I will be demonstrating using paper people. Somebody in the group will start by holding all the string. This person represents the sun and the start of each food web. The first person will hold tightly to one of the ends and toss the rest of the string to another person across the group. The second person will name one thing in the ecosystem that uses energy from the sun. Next, that person will hold on to the piece of string that they got and then toss the rest to somebody else in the group. The third person will name something that eats or is eaten by the previous item that was named by the second. This will continue until everybody in the circle has gotten a chance to name something. Think about terrestrial land food chains or aquatic water food chains. You will be creating your own food chain. Start by putting words on one side of the paper with arrows to show in which way the energy is flowing. For my example, I started with the sun. Then I added the grass. The grass consumes the sun's energy, but then the bunny consumes the energy from the grass. And then lastly, the eagle consumes the energy from the bunny. You may create your food chain as long as you would like. And you may either draw your own pictures or you may cut them out from a magazine if you chose to use a magazine. What we have created here is a food chain. If you make more food chains, you may start connecting some things with others to create a food web. For example, bunnies don't just eat grass, but they eat any types of vegetables, just like some other animals like mouses. And eagles are not the only thing that could eat a bunny but a wild cat could eat it, and then a lion could eat that wild cat. Now that you know what a food web is, I challenge you to do two food webs, a terrestrial food web and an aquatic food web. Don't forget to share pictures and videos of your food web. I would love to see what you came up with. You may also comment down below. What creatures and plants did you use for your food web? Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for joining me today.